Hi everyone, my name is Seth. I write epic fantasy and science fiction under the pen name S.B. Sebrick. Today I wanted to show you a little bit about how to use Photoshop. I want to specifically show you how I melted the crown in my decoy cover, which I showed in a couple previous videos. Uh, surprisingly simple, uh, it's just a tool. And uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright everyone, as you can see, this is the Photoshop main page. Uh, I already have uh, an image set up here of the crown that I used on Decoy. This is uh, stock art that I purchased uh, royalty free, only cost me a couple of bucks. Uh, we're going to melt this crown using what is called the liquify tool. So we're going to go up here to filter in the upper left corner and then we're going to scroll down to liquify which brings us to this work page. Now, the way Liquify works is you want to make sure you're using this upper left button called the Forward Warp Tool. And you want to make sure your size is fine. You can adjust that however you want. You can make that really big, make it really small, whatever. Uh, I am using the brackets on the keyboard as the hotkeys to make the size bigger or smaller. And then the pressure actually determines how far your item will stretch. So for example, we're going to make the pressure really low and drag. You can see it's a very slight shift. I have to click quite a few times before I get a really obvious drip going. Now let's raise the pressure up to maximum and see what the difference is. Now I drag and click. Just one click and I get this long warp. But as you can see, this warp doesn't look very natural. It doesn't look, you can kind of tell this has been modified. Whereas this one on the right looks a little more natural. So we, I, aim for, I aim for a pressure that's in the 30s. Uh, now I'm going to undo the last um, distortions that I've done by Shift Alt Z and keep clicking that and it's kind of like the undo button on Microsoft Word. Now so I've got my size as I like it, my pressure is at 30 and then this is just to the mouse, I just drag and click. So I can drag straight down to make things you know melt downward. I can go to the side to make it look like the object is losing some of its shape. Uh, I can do the same thing over here, over here. Now as you can see I'm going pretty quick here. I'm not, this isn't an exact quality of what I would put up for a book cover. I just want to show you guys how the tools work and then you can play with them however you want. You could do wax, you could do people's faces, I mean you can melt just about anything. Uh, it just depends on what genre uh, and what type of a story you're shooting for. Uh, one thing to note here, if I increase the size, I can actually make the crown's base start to melt as well. And if I really wanted to go a little overboard, I could start drawing it out. There we go. So here you can kind of see that now the crown has a serious melting complex going on. Uh, and all it took was a few clicks. Uh, a lot of the amazing things you can do in Photoshop uh, are just tools and once you learn how to use them you can do some amazing things uh, with a rather short learning curve. Uh, I know before photo, before I learned how to do this I thought if you wanted to do your own cover you needed to be a full-on illustrator. You need a four or six year degree in fine arts to know how to create images. Uh, but with Photoshop even just checking out tutorials on YouTube or lynda.com you can create some really amazing things uh, pretty quickly. So I hope this video kind of opened your eyes to what you can do with Photoshop. Uh, I will be putting up more stuff uh, every week, uh, more tools, things that I've looked into while I've been going through tutorials and things on uh, YouTube and other sites. So I hope this kind of hope this helped. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments below. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Uh, I hope it kind of opened your eyes to some of the cool stuff that you can do with Photoshop. Uh, it's one of the wonderful things that we have in this modern world where you can go in, click a couple of buttons, and create some really interesting and eye-catching pieces. If you have any questions uh, or concerns, please feel free to mention them in the comments section below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.